us. People in the same ministry, they go out and do great things too. Even eat cancer. You know, and that's what it is. Sometimes when you associate with somebody operating and functioning in that dimension, you will also can do the same thing. It's an impartation until God gives you that gift or God decides that he wants to use you in that way. Praise God. We are talking about the diversities of spiritual gifts. Amen. Diversities of spiritual gifts. Glory to his marvelous name. And bless his wonderful and awesome name. I am so excited because every time we speak along this line, all right, I think I need to say this testimony. You know, we went to a place named Wales doing our prayer retreat. And while we were there, I was speaking about the gifts of the Spirit. And when I was speaking about the gifts of the Spirit, when I finished, I asked if anyone there that do not speak in tongues and a sister came up and I didn't lay my hand upon the sister all I said to the sister begin to speak in tongues and the moment the word leave my mouth and I said to her begin to speak in tongues she begin to speak in tongues there and then there and then she begin to speak in tongues and that is what I would call faith in operation, you know, mm. because I didn't stretch me on to her, nor lay me on to her, nor even pray for her. She just come and present herself because she hear the word and she never speak in tongues. My intention was to pray and lay me on to her, but somehow. All I said, just begin to speak in tongues. And out of this sister mouth, she began to speak in tongues. Just like that, and everybody was surprised. Amen? So that's what God can do. There was another instant. And in this instant, I was at one of my low point. When I say low point, I was at my low point. And somebody sent me a text. And they were reminding me. Oh, I pray for them. And they begin to speak in tongues when I pray for them. And I say, at that time, I was at my low point. And God allowed this person to remember the instant. And to send a text to encourage me. Because I was going through serious stuff at that time. I was at a low point in my life. You know? And then when that text reached me, my spirit was lifted. To remember that God did use me for this person. And this person is doing well in their Christian life. And they were appreciating God in my life. In the text that they have sent unto me. Praise God. So we believe that what faith is, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God because we know that it's God that grants the miracle. Amen. We can do the miracle, but God sovereignly will act. Amen. Praise God. We are still speaking on the topic. There are diversities of spiritual gift. And today our focus is upon the gift of faith. Upon the gift of healing. And the gift of working of miracle. And I believe my sister wants to say something. Sister, you want to say something? Which? Um, me? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to you, sister. Come. 
No, I didn't. Oh, sister I'm Erica, just... you want to say something? Sister Erica, you want to say something? Uh, yes, Sister Erica. Okay, talk, Sister Colin. Well, I, okay, I, no, I'm just looking at Peter's ceiling. Well, when Peter healed um, the, the, the beggar, you know, in Acts 3, you know, a man who was laid from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful. Well, he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him as did John. Then Peter said, look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, silver or gold, I do not have. But what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Taking him by the right hand, he helped him up, and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping, hallelujah, and praising God. Yes, and then when all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who was used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful. And they were all filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. So that was real faith because Peter not only did, you know, said, get up and walk, he also extended his hand to give him some physical assistance. And in so doing, the man jumped up, jumped to his feet and began to walk. Amen. So that is miracle and faith in operation. And, and if you want to say healing too, healing. Amen. Amen. The three of them God. in operation. Amen. Because what the gift is, the working of miracle, that means Peter either have to do something there and then. He have the faith to believe that he have received something from the Lord Jesus. That's why he said, such as I have, I give unto you. Yeah. And yeah. I believe that these different Bible text that we are looking at supposed to store within us a eagerness, a yearning, a deep desire that what Christ have said in regarding to his disciple then and he's speaking to his disciple now that whatever he have done we shall also do and greater works because he have gone to his father. So we supposed to be expectant, desiring to operate and function in this dimension because he said they who believe in him. So it's a requirement for the people who believe in him. So you have to ask yourself the question, do you believe in him? Then if you believe in him, then you are expected to operate and function in this dimension. The Bible said somewhere in the book of Hebrews and also in the book of Isaiah that the children that the Lord have given unto me offer signs and wonders in Israel. From the Lord God of hosts that dwell in Zion. And this particular text we're speaking about God the Father giving unto the Lord Jesus, we as his children. Amen. Because he says, signs and wonders shall follow them that believe in his name. So what are the signs that are following us? If signs are not following us, we need to desire 
We need to see signs and wonder following us. Supernatural things, extraordinary things are to be happening in and round about us because we are the light. We are the people with the touch. We are the one that bring an ushering glad tidings, good news. And good news speak about good news. Every time God step in and open the blind eyes that an indicator that good news has come. Are we open the deaf ears that is surely an indicator, a demonstration that indeed the good news has arrived. To the people, wherever you are at listening to this telecast today, I announce to you by faith that good news has arrived. Good news has come nigh unto you today. And the Bible said to them that believe all things are possible. Jesus said to the blind men, according to your faith. So you who are desiring that God should do something in your situation that you are confronted with and challenged with today, according to your faith. For as I'm releasing the word, I'm believing that God will grant miracles that do signs and wonder will be doing great things to thee because every time the word come, it come not in vain. It comes for a purpose and today we are talking about the diversities of spiritual gift. And we are speaking about the gift of healing, the gift of working of miracle, the gift of faith. And these are the power gift. And we are believing for a manifestation of this operation today as we release the word in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let it be so, Father. Amen. In the name of Jesus.